Trade restrictions or trade protection are government policies that limit trade with other countries. They can be imposed by the government of countries that import or the countries that export. Some countries that import goods want to restrict the amount of imports. This can be achieved by tariffs, which are taxes collected by the government on imported goods. The government can also impose quotas, which are limits on the amount of imports allowed for each period. Rather than letting their trading partners impose tariffs or quotas, some exporters voluntarily restrict the amount of a good that can be exported. These are called voluntary export restraints. Some governments seek to boost exports of certain goods through export subsidies, usually through paying producers a certain amount for every unit exported. This is known as export subsidy and is also regarded as a trade restriction as it violates free market principles. Each of these four trade restrictions can affect both the importer and exporter differently. Let's examine the economic implications starting with the importer's domestic market. In a free market, there is always a demand and supply curve. Without imports, the market equilibrium output and price of the good will be at this point. However, if imports are allowed without restrictions, the market price will take the world price for the good. Since the domestic producers cannot produce enough to meet demand at this price point, the remaining quantity is imported. The domestic producer surplus is this portion here, and consumer surplus is this huge portion here. This portion here goes to foreign suppliers. However, if the government imposes a tariff on the good, this tariff is most likely passed on to the consumers, so the market price should rise by the tariff amount. At this price, domestic producers want to supply more, so domestic output increases. The demand by consumers is lower, so the amount of imports is reduced. You will have noticed that the biggest casualty of a tariff is the consumer, as the amount of consumer surplus is greatly reduced. The domestic producers gain as they sell more at a higher price, so the producer surplus is increased. The government takes this portion here, which is the amount of tariffs collected. This increases government revenue. However, notice these two empty portions, which are the deadweight loss. This implies that national welfare is reduced. A quota has the same effect as a tariff. When the amount of imports is limited to a level lower than the domestic demand, the domestic price increases above the world price. This has the exact same effect as tariffs in lowering consumer surplus, increasing producer surplus and reducing national welfare. The only difference is where this portion, known as the quota rent, goes. A quota can be implemented by issuing import licenses to foreign suppliers. If the licenses are free, then the entire quota rent goes to foreign suppliers. If foreign suppliers are required to pay or bid for the licenses, then a portion or all of the quota rent goes to the government of the importing country. Voluntary export restraints are very similar to a quota, except that this limit is self-imposed by the exporting country government. In a way, this can be seen as the exporting country's attempt to capture the quota rent rather than to let the importing country have it. So in this case, the licenses are issued by the exporting country's government. If it's free, the entire quota rent is captured by foreign suppliers. Otherwise, part or all of it goes to the government of the exporting country. And lastly, Export subsidies affect the exporting country more than the importing country. A country will export a good if, at the world price, the quantity demanded by the domestic consumers is lower than what the producers can supply. By subsidising the producers for exporting, the producers can produce more to export, so the domestic price increases by the subsidy amount. The producer surplus is increased at the expense of consumer surplus. This is also at the expense of taxpayers as government revenue is spent on the subsidies. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. 
For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prep Nuggets, let us do the hard work for you.